every time I sit down to record a video, my throat gets super dry. It's almost like I'm nervous, but it's just me and the walls that are here. Why am I nervous? But anyways, welcome back to my channel. My name is Juliana, or if this is your first time here, welcome. And if you're not yet subscribed, please do so by hitting the subscribe button down below. Today, I would like to talk about a cold case from Windsor, Ontario. And I'm pretty sure police know who committed this crime or they have a very good idea of who did it. But due to lack of evidence and witnesses, you know, the perpetrators are still free. So let's get right into it. Jerome Allen was born on March 14th, 1989. He was a brother, friend, son, and more importantly, a father. Jerome had hopes, he had dreams, and he had a smile that can brighten up anyone's day. He was 29 years old, the last time he was seen alive in the early morning hours of October 20th, 2018 at Leopard's Lounge and Brawl in Windsor's West End. He was reported missing seven days later. I'm not sure why there's a delay, but he was an adult. You know, he lived on his own. So his family just thought, you know, maybe he was busy or who knows, but he was reported missing seven days later. A search warrant was executed at a residence in the 3400 block of Cross Street in Windsor in April of 2019. I'm not sure what led them there. Remember, he went missing October 2018 and a search warrant wasn't executed until April of 2019. Although police have not found Jerome's body, a crime scene, or a murder weapon, investigators have said they believe he was unalived and his body was disposed of. They've never publicly said what led them to that conclusion. However, on April 14th, 2019, three people were arrested and charged. Two men, Joshua Gillipsy, 28, and Mohammed Al Yusuf, 23. He was a criminology and philosophy student at the University of Windsor. They were both charged with murder. A third person, a woman, 27-year-old Rosalind Nusuo, also from Windsor, was charged with accessory after the fact to murder. However, in May of 2019, due to lack of evidence, the charges were dropped. As I said, I believe police know who the perpetrators are in this crime, but lack of evidence, no witnesses, it's hard to secure a conviction in the courts. In May of 2022, the reward for information leading to the arrest and prosecution of those involved was double to $10,000. Previously, it was five. I'm going to be attaching a video of his mother and sister talking about Jerome, who he was, and how this crime has affected their family. And as I always say, somebody knows something. You know, he, he left behind, I believe, three kids that will grow up. I'm not sure how young they were, but their memories of him would eventually start to fade. His mother, though, her memories won't fade. She'll always remember her child, her son, who she gave birth to. And for people to be out there knowing what happened and who did it, and they're not coming forward, if the shoe was on the other foot, they would you would want answers as well. So anyone with information is asked to contact the Windsor Police Service at 509-255-6700, extension 4830, or contact Crime Stoppers anonymously at 509-258-8477. You can also submit tips at www.catchcrooks.com. Uh, links to the story will be in the description box. And as I said, I'll be attaching the video of his mother and sister speaking about the case. And I'll catch you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. Jerome Allen was last seen alive between the night of Friday, October 19th and the early morning hours of October 20th, 2018. Approximately one month later, the Windsor Police Major Crime Branch entered into a missing person investigation. Through our investigation, we now believe that foul play was involved. His family has been very involved with investigators during this case and wanted to speak publicly to ask for assistance. Out of respect for their privacy, and in consideration of COVID-19 safety measures, a pre-recorded message has been prepared. There will be further update after the message.
We are preparing this public statement, but requesting our continued privacy afterwards. This is a difficult situation that no mother should have to go through. The disappearance and murder of our beloved son, Jerome Corey Allen, has been unbelievable and traumatic on the family. There are no words to express the pain, the hurt, and the suffering that we have been enduring for two years with no answers and not knowing exactly what happened to him. This had been a never ending nightmare that no one should have to go through. Not only do we mourn for Jerome, but our family had not had the chance to say goodbye. And his body is yet to be found. We need justice. We need everyone's help to solve this case so that those responsible for the disappearance and murder of our son, Jerome, face the consequences of their evil actions. Jerome had hopes, he had dreams, and he had a smile that can brighten up any one day. He was only 29 years old and had so much to live for. Jerome was a loving son, brother, and father. He loved his family. He loved his children so much. Those children meant the world to him and they miss him tremendously. His son will not have a dad to play ball with and answer questions. His daughters won't have their father to walk them down the aisle on those special occasions. We won't get to see our son smiling face as he beams on those special days. Help us get answers to our many, many questions. Jerome, we love you. We miss you. Please, we're asking from the bottom of our hearts. If you have any information no matter how small, please come forward. Search within your hearts and your conscience. <clears throat> Jerome was our son, our brother, our father. We're asking anyone out there who may know something, please come forward and contact the Windsor Police and do the right thing. As stated, Jerome Allen's family is requesting their privacy be respected moving forward. The Windsor Police Service echoes a request for further assistance and information from the public. This has remained a very active investigation for the last two years. Investigators would like to thank members of the public who have come forward with information thus far, but would like to ask for further assistance in providing some closure for the family in locating Jerome Allen's body and bringing this investigation to a successful conclusion. We believe that there are more people in Windsor, the GTA, and throughout the province who know what happened, who is responsible, and where Jerome Allen's body is now located. The Windsor Police Services Board has authorized an increase in the reward to $10,000 for information bringing the responsible party or parties to justice. Anyone with information is encouraged to contact the Windsor Police Major Crime Branch or anonymously through Crime Stoppers. Thank you.